both Kurt Cobain and Elvis Presley have something in common other than being popular rock singers of their time. Unfortunately, they both suffered from drug abuse, which eventually contributed to their deaths. Excessive use of drugs damages human health and is known to cause coma or death due to respiratory, heart or cerebral damage. The immediate effects of drug abuse can also result in reckless behavior, vandalism and sometimes violence. Worse still, when drugs are consumed with alcohol, it often leads to an overdose, which at times results in death. Long-lasting use of drugs and alcohol damages the nervous system and causes cirrhosis in the liver. It also adversely affects the fetus during pregnancy. The identifying symptoms of drug and alcohol abuse are withdrawal, an unnaturally glazed look, disregard for personal hygiene, depression, fatigue, isolation and rebellious behavior. Sometimes, these behavioral changes are reflected in unhappy relationships with family and friends as well as changes in sleeping and eating habits. A teenage abuser may register a drop in academic performance or altogether stop going to school or college, lose interest in hobbies and experience a loss of appetite and weight. Sometimes in desperation, abusers take to stealing to be able to find money to buy drugs. Such behavior understandably is a source of distress to family, friends and teachers. Drug abusers who take drugs intravenously are also susceptible to fatal diseases such as AIDS and Hepatitis B. Both these diseases can be transmitted to a healthy individual due to the sharing of infected needles and syringes. Sports persons have also been known to misuse drugs to enhance their athletic performance. They take narcotic analgesics, anabolic steroids, diuretics and certain hormones to increase muscle strength and bulk. Of these, anabolic steroids cause side effects such as aggressiveness, mood swings and depression. In women, anabolic steroids mimic the effects of male hormones such as testosterone and dihydrotestosterone causing side effects like excessive growth of facial and body hair, enlargement of the clitoris, deepening of the voice, masculinization, that is, male-like features, and abnormal menstrual cycles. Likewise, in men, they result in reduction in the size of the testicles, decreased sperm production, enlargement of the prostate gland and acne. In case of chronic use, these effects could be permanent. In adolescence, apart from severe facial and body acne, it can also result in stunted growth due to the permanent closure of growth centers of the long bones. Keeping in mind the severity of the damaging effects of drug abuse, it is better to focus on prevention of drug abuse especially among adolescents, as they are most vulnerable during this period. Together with the help of vigilant parents, teachers and even friends, drug and alcohol abuse among adolescents can be checked. Often, peer pressure, high expectations from academic performance, and utter disregard for talents and hobbies lead disgruntled adolescents on a wayward path of drugs, alcohol or smoking. Therefore, it is important not to compare adolescents with their peers and not to push them too much to perform academically or in sports. It is in fact advantageous to identify their talents and direct their energies to healthy and interesting pursuits like sports, 
डांस म्यूजिक योगा एरोबिक्स रीडिंग एंड अदर सिमिलर एक्टिविटीज द मॉरल सपोर्ट ऑफ बोथ फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू एडोलेसेंस इन टाइम्स ऑफ क्राइसिस एंड डिसअपॉइंटमेंट इट इज द टाइम वेन टीन एजर्स शुड बी ट्रेंड एंड काउंसल्ड टू हैंडल द प्रॉब्लम एंड स्ट्रेस दैट लाइफ ब्रिंग्स talking to sympathetic and understanding parents and family members like siblings and friends are very helpful during such times this not only gives adolescents an opportunity to share their fears anxieties and guilt but also open their minds to possible solutions in addition such discussions help parents and family to be aware of the changing needs of the individual Both parents and teachers should be alert enough to note any change in behavior and habits of the adolescents. In fact, even friends, if they are able to notice the danger signals of drug abuse, should inform teachers or parents about them to help their friends. Lastly, professional psychologists, psychiatrists, and de-addiction and rehabilitation programs can also be sought to help drug abusers. The objective behind such counseling and medical assistance is to diagnose the underlying cause of the abuse and take remedial steps. Therefore, though drug and alcohol abuse can be a fatal malady, it can be prevented by being sensitive to the changing needs of adolescents and by seeking professional counseling and medical expertise when required to deal with the addiction.